All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Urrutia here, and we're going to go over unit one, lesson two, practice problem number one. The second H-shaped polygon is a scaled copy of the first. Part A, show one pair of corresponding points and two pairs of corresponding signs in the original polygon and its copy. Consider using colored pencils to highlight corresponding parts or labeling some of the vertices. So remember, corresponding parts are parts of the figures that are in the same position in relation to each other, but on the different figure. So if you look here, the top right corner of the H in here corresponds to the top right corner of the H in the other one. So it's the same point in the figure. So these two are corresponding vertices or corresponding angles. The second pair that I'm highlighting is the inside of the left part here. These are corresponding angles again, corresponding vertices. They're in the same position in relation to the rest of the figure, but on the different figures. Now the corresponding signs, we look here, right? The completely left side of the figure is right here. This corresponds to the left side of the scaled copy. Okay, so then the last corresponding sign that I'm going to do is right here, the top middle part of both H's. So you see it's in the same position in relation to the rest of the figure. I'm color coding them blue. So when you're doing this, color code them your own color. Okay, so now we're going to do part B. What is a scale factor that takes the original polygon to its smaller copy? Explain or show your reasoning. To do that, I'm going to look here at the corresponding sides. Because the scale factor takes this one, multiplies it, and gives me this side, then that's going to tell me the scale factor. So I'm going to look at these blue sides here because they're whole numbers. I can do it easily, right? This side right here is four units. I multiply by the scale factor, and it gets me one. So that's what I wrote here in this equation. Four times the scale factor is equal to one. So right here, because it's getting smaller, the scale factor is not going to be a whole number. It's going to be a fraction that is less than one. So what number can I multiply four with to get the number one? Well, it's going to be one fourth. So this is telling me that the scale factor is a quarter. If I take this and multiply it by a quarter or take a quarter of this, I'm going to get this figure here. This works for any side in the figures. Okay, I can take this side right here. This side is two. I multiply by a quarter and I get half. This side right here is five. I multiply by a quarter and I get this one, one and a quarter. So no matter what side I'm doing and choosing, if I multiply by a quarter, I'm going to get the corresponding side. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.